I have been working on something lately. It's a book about making games with Ruby because I've been programming games with Ruby. And when I shared the book on Hacker News, I got this comment, Ruby for game development, is this a joke? And this was a bit of a troll comment. It didn't get any upvotes, but I think about this comment a lot. Ruby for game development, is this a joke? And there's this perception of Ruby can't be used to make games because it's too slow and there aren't a whole lot of commercial games out there that use it. But I recently came across this game engine called Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit and was immediately enamored with it because having used Ruby for 12 years and I'm interested in making games, it just seemed like this perfect fusion. So I've been making games with Ruby and I wanted to show them off and talk about what I've made. So one of the projects I've been working on is this game called Destroy All Goblins. And uh, it's really inspired by Super Crate Box and Tower Fall, if you've ever played those. You play as this little frog, and each time you collect a gem, you get a different weapon, and then you try to collect as many gems as you can. This is all made with Ruby. And the performance hasn't been an issue. It's just smooth and fast. Um, the way that Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit works is that it uses MRuby, which is this smaller portable implementation of Ruby that is really cross-platform and easy to uh, deploy. And it wraps the SDL library, which is a common games programming library. So it combines MRuby and SDL and gives you a nice simple API. Uh, and it's just been really fantastic. So this is Destroy All Goblins. It's kind of hard to play and talk at the same time. It's a little bit of a challenging game, but I'm still, I'm working on this. You can play it on my itch.io page if you want to play it and check it out. I'd appreciate any testers. Um, you know, I have this nice polished UI. You can make it full screen or not. You can, um, settings, your uh, runs saved to disk. So you can see I've had two runs and destroyed three goblins. Um, so that's one game I've made. I've been working on... Dragon Ruby Recipes, which is just a bunch of like free open source tutorials on how to do things. So like, you know, here's how to easily make a menu where you can select options and um, go from there and you can click view source and it actually takes you to GitHub and has the full source code for that recipe to uh, help people learn and uh, learn how to use it. Whether it's animating, using sprite sheet, tile maps, um, been trying to just really make resources to help promote this tool because it's so awesome. And I feel like I didn't know about it for so long and I want other people to know about it too. Uh, here's a game I made, Xenotest for a game jam. It's like a minimal game inspired by uh, Blade Runner. You have to read the text and stuff, but I'll just get to the gameplay. Um, it's a quiz game for a jam called 20 Second Game Jam where you have to make a game in 20 seconds, uh, or a game that lasts 20 seconds long. Um, this was my entry. So, um, yeah, I, anyway, been making these things, these games, having a real blast, and I wrote this book. It's called Building Games with Dragon Ruby. It's completely free. It is online, and then there's a free PDF download, too. Um, people have been really excited about it, and, um, seem like they're into it and it's helped some people and some people have messaged me and said thank you and stuff. So it's 12 chapters and here's the game you build. The cool thing about Dragon Ruby Game Toolkit is that you can make games that run on the browser on all the major desktop operating systems, Android, iOS, and there's uh, potential to put things on console. But in the book you build this game called Target Practice where you pilot this animating dragon and you fire at these targets. It's simplistic, but it's got sound, which I don't have being recorded. Um, it's got animations, it's got collision detection, you know, it's got the basics of a game for you to uh, learn in detail what to do and then uh, go ahead and do it. So yeah, that's Building Games with Dragon Ruby, the book. Here are some other things I've been doing just to try to help is um, if, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know I love testing. So 
there's the ability to write tests for your code. So I wrote a testing DSL called Dragon Test that lets you easily write tests for your code. So if you had a method called text for setting val and it did this, you can write unit tests for it in a way that's not too dissimilar to R spec and mini test spec. So there's Dragon Test, there's Scale, which is a framework I've been working on that is basically like um, Ruby on Rails as a framework for Dragon Ruby. So if you go to this GitHub repository and click use this template, it gives you all of this. I'll just run it really quick. It gives you a skeleton for a game that has gameplay scene, has a pause menu, it has settings, just like those things I was showing in Destroy All Goblins. But you get this all out of the box. In 60 seconds, you can be up and running with a new game and uh, have these conventions on where to put your code and how to organize it and support game pads and keyboards really easily. Um, so that's scale. And scale is like the code I extracted from the games I've been writing because I want to make a bunch of games quickly. So I took that code, made scale as a template, and it's a good starting place for games. So there's scale to check out. There's dragonwriters.community, which is a website I've started. I haven't designed it yet, but I've been writing advanced tutorials here on how to do a variety of things from customizing the engine to a full screen toggle to like library loading sprites. So that's at dragonwriters.community. And uh, yeah, just really, really love this engine. I'm having so much fun. I'm, um, it's like this, to go back to this comment of Ruby for game development, is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. And you can build these really awesome games quickly. And um, cool things about the engine that I just want to show off too is that it's hot reloaded. So like here, if we go into the gameplay scene and I open that code, let me bump up my text a bit. So here we're in the scene for gameplay. Down here, it says gameplay. Let's change it to my game and save that. Switch back. It hot reloaded the Ruby script that's running and just instantly changes it. So almost like with the speed of a hot reloaded website where your styles and your JavaScript and your HTML are updated, you can make a game like this. And if you've never worked on game programming before, this is like such a rare anomaly. Usually the cycle is you make some changes and then you compile it and then it runs the executable again. And um, it's just like a really slow, laborious experience. But Dragon Ruby really speeds that up and feels really great to use. So um, yeah, I'd like to do some more videos about it because um, I've been learning a lot and want to share that. Hopefully this is interesting and, and helpful, but um, yeah, if you're interested in making games and you know Ruby, it's, uh, it's possible. And I'm excited to keep pushing the limits of the engine and try to really show, you know, what's possible with it. That's it for now. Just wanted to share that about the book and what I've been working on and uh, just generally game programming with Ruby. All right. Take care. Thanks. See ya. Bye.